What is happening, YouTube? Look at this. We have a piece of chain mail, and I have burnt pans to try to clean with. Let's get into it. So, YouTube, what we have today is a piece of chain mail. It is a 7x7 round ring scrubber. We use it here at the house to uh, clean our cast iron pans, our stainless steel pans, our, our glass slow cooker you know all the harder stuff we have stainless steel spoons and different items like that that we use to clean with what's really interesting about this is you can clean your stainless steel pans while saving your seasoning on there so you don't necessarily have to scrub it all off it is a really unique item a must-have now what I did is I burned some food onto two different pans my stainless steel and cast iron and what I did was I let it set out and get hard it is nasty the things I do for YouTube <laughs> look at this that is that is rough you would hate to try to scrub that with a sponge or something but what I've done here is I got the chain mail put a little soap and water in there normally I wouldn't put so much soap but I just put it in there and I just start scrubbing away just scouring it and what it's doing is it's knocking off all that food and all the junk it works so good look at that just the first pass got everything out of it you hit it really good I'm using most of my just finger pressure I'm not even using like the whole hand pressure I'm just trying to feel for anything and it works so good look at that I mean just the first pass now if you were trying to do this with anything else it wouldn't happen I've not ever found anything that works this good I tell my friends about it all the time, and they're just like, what are you talking about? Piece of chain mail. I said, yeah, man. I said, you got to get one. you got to have one at the house. I mean, just look at everything's off of it. You see it all in the sink? Unbelievable. So, I think any household that has stainless steel pans, cast iron, one really good thing is if you season your pans, I season mine. Uh, I try not to put too much soap in there. I try not to scrub it. After I hit it with the stainless steel, I'll hit it with the sponge maybe and just kind of just kind of rinse it off. You know, I try to try to keep the seasoning on there. Now, along with the other um, pans that I have, I have a whole set now. Thanks to my son, he he's been buying them for me. But I think what I do is I might just knock the food off and rinse it. You know, depending on the seasoning level I need. This one I use pretty regularly, so I just hit it like that I put a lot of uh, jalapeno peppers and stuff in there and tomatoes when I make my salsa and I burn them on there get it nice and hot now this pan here this thing is burnt to a crisp I mean I burnt it I let it sit and get hard look at it, it is so nasty this is this is really fun so put it in there get a little soapy water and I just start scrubbing it is amazing so I kind of always open it up, lay it down flat in there, and I just go to town on there. I mean, it just comes right off. It is great. I like to uh, spin it around. You know, sometimes when I'm using it, I try to get it all in one pass, but there's always a few little pieces that I tend to miss. So I did put some effort into scrubbing that, but look at that. I mean, the first pass, rinse, boom. Right, the, the rinser here. Look at that. I mean, it's unbelievable. You just can't do that with hardly anything else. They recommend that you can use this on uh, stainless steel, enamel cast iron, hardened, anodized, copper, and glass. So I wouldn't use it on the cheaper nonstick pans. I mean, it would just shred it. I mean, it, would make, it wouldn't be really good. But anything like the stainless and the cast iron and the, the glass, such as your slow cookers and your Dutch ovens, you know, it's fine for all that. It works really good on Dutch ovens. I also use it on cookie sheets, you know. Put something there, you got cookies in there or something that's hard. You know, you might have, uh, you know, cook some potatoes or something in there and you got little bits of hard stuff on there. You hit that with that in just a second it's gone. Now after this, you can just simply hit it with the sponge, a little scrubby, polish it up. I mean, it is good. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Uh, I really highly recommend this to everyone for their kitchen needs. You just simply hit it with the scrubby right here. Boom. There we go. Look at that. I mean, almost no effort. Now, 
back in the day before I had this, I'd have to get the scrubby out. I'd have to probably scrape it. I'd have to probably get some scotch bright or something. <laughs> but look at that. Unbelievably clean. Just like that. And you guys seen how nasty it was. So some of the other features and nice things, the reasons why I like this is it's super clean. So even after that, their food, you can still see a little bit. But what you can do is you can just simply wash it. So what I do is uh, I take it, I put it in the soapy water, and I just simply wash it, you know, just like I do anything else. And then after that, I just rinse it off, and it's perfectly clean. It doesn't rust. Here I am rinsing it off. I just kind of rub it in there with some soap and water. Boom. Get anything off that might be stuck in there. And that's it. I mean, it is just that easy. I have to mind my sink here. I'm going to have to go in here and clean the sink out. I got two strainers in there to catch all this food. That's my uh, review of the Loud Kingdom stainless steel cookware. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.